today, the object that we have is called Codex Klimicki Rescriptus. And tonight we have a great program in store for you. We're going to be discussing Only One Life. It's a book written by two inspiring ladies, Jackie Green and Lauren Green McAfee. The foundation of French cuisine, the foundation of Italian cuisine, what was being cooked at that period of time? What were chefs doing in the 1800s and early 1900s? That's where our great teachers came to in the early 1900s, which then led into the chefs of the 30s and 40s. This is about Jewish life. It's about the, uh, the continuation of Jewish life. And it's not about the continuation of Jewish life for the last 75 years, but it's about the continuation of Jewish life over the course of the centuries. If you could see the first book that ever existed, what would you feel? Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. So the Lunar Bible is a microfiche copy of the Bible. Welcome to Picture Books of the Past. In this exhibit, we talk about how to recognize characters, settings, and stories by using symbols in old master paintings. I was um, here with the other international students, and uh, we met in the library, and you were saying, did you know that we had a copy of, um, that somebody said, did you know that we had a copy of Lincoln's Bible? of historical documents and valuable records of an organization. Merry Christmas! What is there to be merry about anyway? You can keep Christmas in your own way and I'll keep it in mine. It was determined that the substrate of the museum's scroll fragments appears to be leather rather than the parchment that is characteristic of the authentic Dead Sea Scrolls. Scientific analysis further concluded that the raw skins that were used as writing material appears to have been treated with lime. 